What is up you guys, Matt McAdam here, AKA Desert Chief, only on driving lines chasing dust. And we are going to jump into an awesome episode today. It's gonna to be all about some new technology that's coming to off-road and overlanding and a few other industries as well. And what I'm talking about is mobile satellite internet and how that's going to hugely impact your adventures wherever you go. Of course, by now you probably know that Starlink is available to the public. It's been out for a couple of years now. If you live in a remote area, you can get Starlink satellite internet out there and it's basically just a dish that you point up to the sky and you get high-speed internet. But today I am at Star Mount Systems here in San Diego, California, and I'm gonna be talking to owner Brandon Walsh about what they're doing for these Starlink antennas and the mounts that they're building for off-road and overland vehicles. Time no see, bro. Good to see you. Yeah, man. So Welcome. this is uh, my first time here at Star Mount, and you got an awesome office, by the way. You got all those Pretty trophies cool, huh? from Baja yeah. over the years. So I wanted to come down here today to just basically talk to you about what you're doing with Star Mount because, like, this is something that I've always wanted on the trail and just be able to have internet everywhere I go. I do a lot of trips just like you guys do. I mean, you kind of started this thing out of the racing world, but exactly. Uh, now I, I think that there's probably a lot m more use cases out there for, for sure. you know having high speed internet on, on the fly. The first time I had a Starlink on was on my race car. <clears throat> I did the whole Starlink in there, deactivated the motor, but just kind of dropped the whole Starlink in the roof of my race car and just two ratchet straps and did the Baja, it was the Baja Fire. 500. Uh, we live streamed like the whole time till the motor blew up, and it was awesome. Like and it was groundbreaking because we'd never been able to get any type of live footage from a race car in Mexico like that. And that was the main reason why you wanted to to have a Starlink antenna on your race car, right? It was just to be able yeah. to live stream the race. Exactly. So yeah. me and Score or Roger from Score had talked about it for a long time, but like you know five six years ago even the equipment that we would have needed to have would have been ginormous. It would have taken up half the car. It would have been heavy. It would have been super low bandwidth. It wouldn't have been enough. So all of a sudden Starlink came out with this little dish so you can take anywhere in the world with the skies above your head, which is everywhere, and it works. You know, I wasn't really ever trying to make mounts. That wasn't the goal. The goal was let's show people how badass off-road racing is. Because yeah. I honestly believe that you know, NASCAR is appealing to people because of the coverage. They got every turn, they got the in-car, they got, you know, everything, right? Right. We can't really do that with off-road. Well, maybe pretty soon we can almost do that. But that's why I always believed getting off-road on the same level as NASCAR or F1 would bring so much energy and, and, and sponsorships and fans to yeah. it that it would change it for everyone. Absolutely. That was the goal. And then, and out of that, you and got, out of that, now we got, got this, this business. So. so speaking of, I want to see what you guys are doing here. You can show us some cool. of your products. Yeah, for sure. The brand's gonna take us to the back of the shop over here and show us around. But man, I really can't wait to get one of these on my Bronco because, as you guys know, I'm constantly out there creating content. I'm not racing my vehicle, but I am in need of technology when I'm out there. And being able to show that and live stream some of those trips, it's just a game changer, dude. Like to oh, be able to sure. have all that out there. So for sure. we're here in the shop. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let Brandon kind of do his thing and and show us a little bit around uh, Star Mount Systems. All right, so obviously we talked about racing. Yep. I got my new cars here. You got your we race new pros VTVs now. here. The truck yeah. somewhere else. So this this half is kind of the racing stuff. Yeah, dual purpose shop. As you can yeah. see, there's a lot of work needs to get done to sing because we're busy making mounts. But right. We got a, we got like a month and a couple of days. Your yeah, priorities have race, shifted so. a little bit, right? And that's okay. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> For our viewers' sake, you guys aren't actually selling Starlink antennas or the subscription. They buy that separately and then Correct. they come to you. So it's like an aftermarket product for their internet system. Correct. We're like the phone case of the phone. Right? Gotcha. We don't sell okay. the iPhone or the Android. Yeah. We're like the case of that or the accessories. You so, like the otter box of Star Mount. Um, now, obviously what you do here is this piece number one. This is the black one. Take your dish, literally just goes right in there like that. Drops right in. Put the lid on. Lid goes on, then you put the hardware Screw all the bolts in. And that's it. And this is made out of? This is starboard material. Starboard, okay. Starboard, yeah, yeah. so starboard is a very, very, it's probably the most UV resistant type of plastic you can get. Okay. Very expensive material. Um, but it's what you want. 
for yeah. sure when it comes to stuff like because this stuff is sitting out in the sun all the time. So it's really durable. It's really strong. Right. Obviously, it's not going to rust or anything like. Nope. Because we use because we use stainless steel. All the hardware we use is stainless steel hardware. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously really, really good UV resistant plastic and starboard. So this mounts to the roof, how exactly? Well, you got a couple of different, I'm gonna take this apart real quick to show you a little easier. Okay. Um, but, so all these holes right here on the inside, you can drill directly through it into so your roof. Through bolt. Through yeah. bolt it. Um, obviously you can see we have places to put magnets for some okay. people that use magnets. You can take the magnets out and put suction cups also. Okay. And then also we have what's called our quick release mount. It's a piece of aluminum plate. It's powder coated black in this sense. Yep. And then what you just do is take the mount, slides right in, and that's it. And it just holds it in place. Exactly. Okay. So this is what's really cool about this. A lot of the so. Speaking of race cars, this is really cool for race cars because when you get home, you can unbolt it. You, you leave the base plate on the car, yeah. pull the Starlink off. We also have a lot of uh, customers that want to put it on their vehicle and then maybe their boat or their vehicle in their RV. So they, they get store it. them somewhere and they want to take them the, the exactly. unit off. Yeah. So they'll put a base plate, quick release on both vehicles. Right. Because it's 12 volt, everything's attached. Yeah. You just pull it off, walk over the car and you're done, right? So when you take it off, all you have left is just a 12 volt pigtail and then this aluminum mount Correct. right here. Correct, yeah, yep. That's genius, yeah. So then you yeah. can just take that, put it on your daily driver or take it home, put it in the storage closet, whatever you want. Exactly. I feel like that's pretty popular with a lot of guys who are in off-road. Yeah, so, and obviously we, we have the holes here so that let's say you have, you wanna keep the magnets on. Yeah, you can leave so, them on there. So let's say you wanna have this on your RV mm -hmm. or what something else where right. you can bolt it down or die core. But then your vehicle, your other vehicle, uses magnets. Yeah, or so it's already cups. Kind of, it's already yeah. kind of preloaded. Boom, right. take it off, right. magnet, and you're done. So the whole point is just to make it like really just flexible so you can take it anywhere you want. Yeah, I love the know? versatility and how many different use cases there are and, and how many different ways you can set it up. It's just, uh, I just think that you guys kind of just thought of everything. This is a, it's made by Pelican. It's for an Apple AirTag. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's what this little, Cut out right here is for so. So you guys just put a little spot so that you can put your air tag. Put in your there. air tag in there and always know where your Starlink You'll never is. Never lose it. Yeah. yeah, I use air tags for all my stuff, so that's yep. actually perfect. Yep, yep, yep. So when you get it from Starlink, this is the dish, right? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's pretty low profile. And you guys just slapped your sticker on there. We yeah. slapped the sticker on yeah. there. But, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff you still need to make this work. Yeah. You, know, you got the long Ethernet cable that would run up to your roof usually right. on your house. This would be the the router. And then there's its own power supply. And yeah. again, you got that guy. That one ten. And that's the inconvenient yeah. part, right? right? And also, this is a lot of stuff. Right? Yeah, and where do you lot package all that into a, an off-road vehicle? Exactly. And some people like to take it from one vehicle to the other, and you got to take all that with you. Oh, yeah, right? that won't work very well. So what these guys do, this is the new one. So this is our 12 volt all-in-one made for this guy, right? Oh, so that just kind of fits right there into the antenna. Correct, and I'm gonna show you with this one so you oh. guys can see some of the internal stuff here. This is it right here, and there's usually a black lid like this on here, but okay. all you have to do is plug this in, and pop it into place. snaps right in. That's it. Instead so of having all these wires, you just take your 12 volt power supply wire that we supply to you, you plug it in, and the other side goes to your car's this battery. This goes to your car's battery and you're done. That's right So there. this and is fully self-contained. Fully self-contained. And so what sits in this cavity when when this router is not here? Uh, it's a little kickstand. So uh, many of you oh, guys have seen there's the kickstand. Okay. Yeah, so it just lets you set it up outside of your RV or correct, wherever you correct. are. But if you have it on top of your car, you don't need it. You don't so. need it. And we have a case for it. So um, most of the people using the case would never be using the kickstand. Okay. So we just eliminate the kickstand, Yeah. put our 12 volt case in, and it's just, I mean, look at the difference. Yeah, all this that's stuff just that. all self-contained, this tiny yeah. thing. So, okay, forgive me if I'm wrong, but your previous versions, I guess the previous versions of the Starlink, they required quite a bit of modification to make them work, right? You actually had to like take a Dremel or something. Correct, let's go, let's go check it out actually. I saw like a whole pile <laughs> of these yeah. uh, carcasses over here. Yeah, so we're gonna probably make a Christmas tree out of this next year. Yeah. We just kind of weld them together and we, you know, we gotta do something with them. So if anyone needs a stand, 
Call He's me. got plenty I, of them. I yeah. got you. So, so these, you guys offer this as a service here, but most people will do this at home with the older generation Starlink. Correct. Right? So about seventy percent of our sales of these kits are done by people in their own garages or shops. Or okay. I've seen people do them in parking lots in Baja. I've seen them <laughs> pretty much everywhere, right? Yeah. A lot of the off-roaders. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the van lifers and full timers and RVs are doing it like at campsites. So as you can see, this is the this is the the end result of cutting, right? Okay. So we don't need the pole anymore. We right. don't need the motors, which makes it, you know, you know, get in the right spot for it. But this is what's left of it. We end up taking the wire out of it and using that. Okay. But this is pretty much what a Starlink looks like before it's cut. Uh, yeah. Right? All one piece, right? Right. Goes in the stand, boom. Now, this one's already been cut, but um, this is kind of the end game. That's for us. what happens. Okay, that, that's what the actual antenna looks like when you open it up. Yeah. Okay. And so this is the piece that you guys use for your mount. Correct. Okay. So let me grab a case real quick. Again, this this case isn't doesn't have all the stuff in it, but just for the sake of showing you guys how it works, it goes in here like this, goes on down, boom. Right. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Okay. And then you put the lid on it, put all your 26 and screws you just in it, bolt it all down, and that's yeah. it. You know? well, that's pretty cool. So this is kind of like what you guys started doing, right? That's that's like when the Starlinks were just coming out. And Correct. Were, yep. Okay. Yep. 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 But I mean that new one, not having to do any of this cutting, and just being able to remove the kickstand and put your all-in-one 12 volt conversion and the router in. I mean that's just the game changer, right? Correct. there. Correct. Now it is worth noting that it is. Oh yeah, they're way bigger than a the much, other ones. A much bigger dish than the other one, right? Yeah, so, so you guys can see that. There's a pretty considerable difference in size. So you, I mean, the crazy thing is, is that you can tell how much bigger it is, right? Um, now for some people, that might be the deciding factor. You right. I mean, there are some- Smaller vehicle, we, not as much real estate on the roof rack or on the roof itself. Correct. We have a lot of, we have a lot of customers, like you said, are van lifers and, and, um, full timers that have solar panels right. and all this stuff on their vehicle. Right. And even this with the case was was tight. Yeah. So this is gonna be even more tight, right? Okay. So yeah. even though this is no longer the the dish that Starlink is selling, this guy, mm -hmm. I still feel it's gonna be very popular with people. And there's a lot of people that yeah. have them. And, and here's the thing, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna try and sell these things mm -hmm. for pretty cheap to get the new one because that's what people want. Right, so the second hand so market for these is the second hand market's gonna be pretty yeah. good, I think. So yeah. because of and they're just still, the size. They're still putting these in service, like you can still use the antennas oh, and yeah. everything. Yeah. I mean this is super cool for like guys like me who just you know this is this isn't too big for my Bronco, you know, I, I and I assume they have to be mounted face up on the roof. Correct. The, but these aren't just like your regular like cell phone internet speed. These are actually a lot higher speed than that. So that's I think what really is the benefit of having this instead of just having something that's connected to like a cell tower. For sure, for sure. So it's high speed internet. Um, so we have a lot of a lot of customers that are like families that travel, mm -hmm. either full time or just on vacation, and they love the fact that they can have their Starlink on in their vehicle and the kids can watch YouTube or movies the whole time um, where maybe you couldn't do that. Yeah, they got like four devices running internet and they exactly. have like Netflix and yeah, they exactly. want to Exactly, and all also it, it just gives you the peace of mind. Like there are a lot of places in camping areas and stuff like that, that there is no cell phone service. Oh yeah. And like we're talking about the benefits like cool racing stuff and live streaming and watching YouTube, but like what happens when you're actually in trouble? Yeah. And your cell phone doesn't work, right? As long as the sky is above your head, you have a safety connection. You will have yeah. it, at least enough to make a phone call and, and text message. Yeah. Is, it's gonna save someone's life someday. That's just the truth. So many use cases beyond just like entertainment or live streaming. I mean, like just being able to reach out to like authorities or EMS or something. For sure. I can even imagine like those guys probably want something like this on their vehicles, like when they go out to do these rescues because they're in the same environment. Yeah, we're actually doing <clears throat> um, we're actually doing a deal with um, Dubai, Pakistan, and Thailand right now. For oh, their, really? For their police cars. So. Oh yeah. We're getting some test units right now, but I mean we're in Australia also. Okay. Um, and yeah. I believe here being in San Diego that we, we get some pretty gnarly fires once yeah. in a while. It's about every five to six years we have that big one, right? Right. And the problem is it takes everything down. Yeah. It takes the cell phone towers down out there, everything. So these fire guys, actually they came in here doing an inspection on all the buildings and they're like, what is that? And the guy's <laughs> yeah. like, dude, we need these we on, need our, these on trucks. our fire trucks. Yeah. Because think about it, they're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. You could it's if it's 12 volt or not, you've got you got a way to communicate with the rest of your fire team. Right. Anyone right. out in the middle of nowhere, if the cell phone towers are down, electricity's down, yep. I mean you just 
you know you always have it. Well, Brandon, thank you so much for giving us the tour here at Star Mount Systems. I think, again, I've said it a few times in this video, but what you guys are doing, I think just starting out in off-road racing was just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many other use cases. And selfishly, you know, being an off-roader and going out to all these places that I do and wanting to make content or upload something while I'm there as a content creator, I mean, that's a huge one for me. But then on the back end of it, the safety stuff, like you were saying, if you know anything happens, you ever have an emergency or you need help getting some spare parts even, something small, I mean, the, the use case list just keeps going on and on. And I think that as you guys grow, you're gonna find that there's so many different types of people out there who want your guys' stuff. Where can our viewers actually find your products? Well, our website is star-mountsystems.com. And obviously we have Instagram, Facebook also, but okay. all of our products are on our website. Cool, and so uh, I'll drop that in the show notes down there in the link uh, so people can check out your guys' products and see how they can make it work for their vehicle. And what's cool, man, is like I feel like every week someone calls me with a different Set up. Different like vehicle you, 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 or something. You kind of feel on. like you've all you've heard it all, right? And then yeah. someone's like, "I'm gonna do this," and I'm like, "Whoa, man, you're gonna have to send me photos of that." Yeah. So I mean, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I mean, even the stuff I'm, I do this every day, I feel like I kind of like you could do here, here, and here, but someone will call me and be like, I'm "I got doing an M1 this. Abrams tank, and I want to put it on this, or you know, yeah. whatever, my canoe." Yeah, or something. it's it crazy. So, <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna be back to get one of these on the Bronco. It's outside of there. There you go, man. Yeah, right on. Thanks, Cameron. Thank, Cameron. Thank okay, you. Buddy. Appreciate See it. You. Well, guys, there you have it. That's gonna do it for us today here from Star Mount Systems in Poway, California. If you guys have an off-road vehicle, a boat, an RV, a chase team, a race team, whatever it is that you guys have and you wanna run high-speed internet on there, Starlink is the way to go. And the only way you're gonna get that on your vehicle in a safe manner that ensures your speeds being nice and high is these guys here at Star Mount. So go check them out. Again, I dropped the website down in the show notes and I'm really, really excited to get one of these systems on my Bronco and maybe, just maybe, do a Chasing Dust episode live on YouTube, on location, maybe somewhere out where there's no reception for anything like Death Valley or something like that. Super exciting. I love technology. I'm kind of a geek when it comes to this stuff. And if you are too, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to share it with your friends who are into off-roading, boating, racing, whatever it is that they're into, I'm sure they're gonna find some value in these products as well. While you're there, you guys, please make sure you subscribe to Driving Line because we're making all kinds of cool videos like these product reviews for both on-road and off-road vehicles. And if you subscribe, you won't miss any of them. But I've got a bit of a rainy drive ahead of me here, so I'm gonna say goodbye for now, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Matt McAdam, AKA Desert Chief, only on Driving Line's Chasing Dust. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching Driving Line. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing to our channel so you'll never miss any of the content we create here. Whether you're into trucks, Jeeps, imports, domestic vehicles, or anything in between, we are here to fuel your passion. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.